Okay, so I'm aware a lot of YouTubers have already made a video about this, but as a YouTuber who mostly covers mods and plugins, I feel like I should update you guys as well. So what has happened? Basically, there's currently a virus going around in the Minecraft community, and there's a real chance you're infected too. Now, I'm not saying this to scare you, but the chance is there. Okay, so let me explain what happened in the most simple terms I know, just so that everyone can understand what's going on. Now, I don't know if all of the info I'm about to say is 100% confirmed, but it seems like it is. So what probably happened is that a user called Fracturizer downloaded a copy of Better Minecraft, a very popular Minecraft mod that I'm sure you've heard about before. Now they infected a virus into the Better Minecraft jar file and re-uploaded it to CurseForge. So now anyone who downloaded that version of Better Minecraft would also download that virus. Now this is not just a simple virus, it can actually be very dangerous. So this virus is actually able to travel from one jar file to another. Meaning that when you download it to your machine, it can very easily spread to all the jar files on your whole system. Now, as far as I know, it really doesn't matter what operating system you're using. So you may be using Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. From what I've seen, this virus can spread regardless of operating system. The virus started spreading around, investing themselves in jar files that then once again got uploaded to other Minecraft plugins plugin and mod websites. Infected mods and plugins have already been found on CurseForge and on Craftbucket. But there is a real chance out there that some mods on for example ModRiff are also infected. So my piece of advice, maybe don't download mods for a bit. Now like I said, this virus can spread to all the jar files on your machine. But what does it get from doing that? Well, it can basically steal all of your credentials. So all of your password information, authentication keys and even bank details. So it's actually a very serious matter and a lot of people are currently looking into how to resolve this mess. While I can't give you those answers yet, I can show you what you can do to make sure you're not infected. So a link to this website will be in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. But here it basically says what I just told you. Several innocent looking mods and plugins were intentionally uploaded by the malware's creator to the mod hosting website CurseForge and the plugin hub dev.craftbucket.org. So if you downloaded something from those two websites in the last couple of months, then you might be infected. Now also very important, this malware is composed of multiple stages. Each stage is responsible for downloading and running the next one. In total, there are three known stages. And stage three is the mastermind of the malware. And we have evidence that it attempts to do all the following. So basically it injects itself into all the jar files on your file system, possibly infecting mods that were not downloaded from CurseForge or BucketDev. So if a plugin developer would be infected by this, then one of the mods or plugins they develop could be infected too. And when they upload it to something like Spigot or ModRiff or CurseForge, then it could start spreading even more. Now it also steals cookies and login information of many web browsers. It replaces cryptocurrency currency addresses, it steals Discord credentials and also Microsoft and Minecraft credentials. So that's all pretty horrible stuff. Now here you can see all the information on what all the stages are about. If you're interested in this, simply pause the video or click the link in the description and visit this page yourself so you can read it and check it all out. But I will now be showing you two ways to check if you're infected yourself. Now like I said, it doesn't matter if you're on Windows, Mac or Linux, on all platforms you can can be infected. Though I currently only have a Windows machine here, so I will be showing how to do this on Windows. So what you want to do is look for your search bar in Windows and type run and then simply press enter. Doing this will bring up this small box. Now over here what you want to do is type percent then local app data without any spaces just local app data and then another percent after that press enter then what you want to do is go to view and make sure that explorer actually shows hidden items so that is really important make sure it shows hidden items so just click and there we go hidden items are now shown now after that what you want to do is you want to look for a folder called microsoft edge now if your microsoft edge folder appears like this so just microsoft edge without any spaces exactly like here, then you're fine. If your folder name has a space between the Microsoft and the Edge, then you're infected by this virus. If you see two folders where one is called Microsoft Edge just like here, 
And the other one is Microsoft Space Edge. Then once again, you're infected. Now you might be wondering like, Kasasara, why is the virus inside of the Microsoft Edge folder? Well, it basically just uses Microsoft Edge to hide itself. So if you see a folder that is called Microsoft Space Edge, delete it right away. What you can also do is click on another link in the description, which will take you to the CurseForge website, ironic enough. Here you can read some more information on what exactly has happened. But what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and beneath the text, if you're already infected, you want to click on the text from from here. So download the detection tool from here, click on there, and it will download an EXE file to your PC. Now, upon running this file, this is what you will see. And here you simply want to click on scan. If this is what it says, you're probably okay. Now I'm going to say probably because it is a very dangerous virus. And currently we for sure don't know everything about it. But if you do these two things and both turn out okay, then you're probably safe. So this is a list with all the mods that have been confirmed in Infected. So if you've downloaded one of these mods in the last couple of months, you really want to check if your PC is infected, yes or no. Now this list is actually a list with mods that have been permanently removed from CurseForge because they were infected too. Even if you did all the checks and it seems that you're fine, please be careful with everything you download from the internet. Especially now when you download stuff from CurseForge or CraftBuckets and maybe ModRiff 2, there could still be some infected mods out out there once again they're not certain but it could be so stay safe out there guys now do make sure to spread awareness of this problem spreading this video or any of the links in the description could really help someone else out and then that will be it for today guys stay safe out there i will talk to you later